MIG, or Metal Inert Gas Welding, takes welding to the next level, giving you a clean, secure bond when making repairs to a wide variety of alloy metals. Here's what you'll need to get started. First, put on a leather welding apron or jacket, and welding gloves to protect your skin. Then protect your eyes with an auto-darkening helmet. Put safety glasses on before you begin cleaning your base metal. Next, use a grinder with a wire brush attachment to clean the surface of the base metal you are welding. A clean surface is necessary to avoid contaminating the weld pool, so remove any dirt, grime, or grease from the piece. To prepare the welder, with the power off, install the .030 wire spool into the machine. Securely holding the wire, clip the end to remove any excess or bent wire. Then, insert the wire through the assembly and into the gun hose. Pull the trigger to move the wire through the hose. You'll want to cut the wire so that you have a 3 4 inch stick out. Then, set the amperage and wire feed controls. Reference your welder's user manual to determine the proper settings. Attach the ground clamp to a clean steel work surface or base metal so that the metal enclosure of the welding machine and the ground are at the same potential. Your welder will not produce an arc without it. Additionally, an argon CO2 mix shielding gas should be used to help protect your weld from contamination. Adjust the flow as needed. Check the regulator on the gas tank to find the range. For this project, we will be at a flow rate of 38. Make sure your helmet is pulled down covering your face. First, place your base metal on angle irons to lift it for easy access and to create a dip for solder to fall into, ensuring complete fusion. To keep your base metal from moving, start by tacking it together. Use your welding corner magnets to secure your base metal in a 90 degree position, then tack each end. To begin your MIG welding, hold the gun at an angle between 75 to 90 degrees, approximately 1 16th to 1 8th inch from your base metal. Then, in a slow and controlled manner, move the gun in a slight U, figure 8, or cursive V shape, always pushing away from the weld puddle. Your welding bead should resemble a stack of dimes with nice, consistent strokes and no air bubbles. The weld cure is in just a few seconds. Use gloves to handle until the metal has cooled. For a cleaner look, remove slag using a wire brush and buff using a grinder with wire brush attachment, making sure the base metal is securely clamped to your work surface. With the right techniques and practice, you'll be making clean, strong welds like a pro in no time. Good luck, and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.